Hi, how's everyone doing today? Well, <laughs> um, I'd like to apologize if it seems like uh, I'm just reading this because I've had a lot of midterms this past week, so I haven't had too much time to prepare for this. But I'm here now, and I thank the Lord for this opportunity to share with you guys my testimony. Okay, well, I started going to church when I was a little kid. I was practically brought up in church. I, was, I went every week to Sunday school and sermons, learning biblical stories, and grew up around people that were deeply rooted in Christ. But it was not until the fourth grade one Sunday morning here at FCBC that I accepted Christ into my heart. However, truthfully, even then, I never really understood what it meant to be a real Christian. I went to church because my mom and my friends went and did not really understand biblical teachings on a personal level. Sure, I liked listening to Bible stories and describing God's work on earth and believed that Jesus Christ had died for my sins. But probably due to my innocence at the time, I did not know my capacity for sin and didn't really understand uh, the need for complete and utter dependence on God. I, like any other kid, depended solely on my parents. Although I was blessed enough to have all my needs provided for, I didn't think that I had all that much to be thankful for. I still had not seen God's hand in my own life. I felt that if I were to succeed, and that I need to, my, I need to make my own plans for my own future. I felt that as long as I dedicate myself to my general outline for life, it would all simply just work out, especially after my father passed away. I felt that I needed just to work harder. As soon as I was legally able to work, I joined the workforce. I tried my best to be as mature as I could as soon as possible, or whatever concept of maturity I had at the time. Silly enough, I was literally trying to force myself to grow up into the adult mold that I had conceived in my teenage mind. Soon after, when my so school load started to finally steady down near the en end of my high school years, I was able to work more hours without heavily affecting my progress in school. I became so disillusioned that, that at times I worked up to 50 or so hours a week on top of my school load. My entire focus shifted completely to my own plans for life. That I, stopped, that I slowly stopped coming so often to church. My focus was independent of God. I was, sub, I was subconsciously saying, I don't need you, God. I can make it on this world on my own. I thought I was growing up, that I was becoming a competent, mature adult, but I was just living a vain shell of a life, completely filled to the brim with stress. Although my life was a total mess, on the outside, it seemed to me like I was making progress in my plans. And all that was left in the equation of success and was time and endurance. I had a steady job, was on my last year of high school, and got into UCSD. My plans were slowly unfolding. My priorities went along a worldly path. And I was walking further and further away from God's presence. I'm not saying that pursuing a good university is going against God's wishes, but my mindset and intent were blatantly corrupt. Not only that, but I was also getting mixed up with the wrong types of people. I'd equate, I had acquaintances that were shady and had no regard for God. It was my senior year. I'd already gotten into my top choices for school. So all I wanted to do was have a little fun and somewhat relax. I became increasingly self-centered. God decided that it was enough, that he was ready to welcome back his prodigal son. During the final months of school, I was having so much fun, I messed up all that I had worked so hard for. So close to the conclusion of an important chapter in my life, I got myself kicked out of school, which voided my provisional contract with UCSD. Not only that, I ran into trouble with the law, and everything in my life was teetering over the cliff towards what seemed to be impending obliteration. UCSD was, my, was the next big step in my plan. Without it, my plan was ruined, which to me meant that my life was essentially ruined and that they had every right to reject my initial admissions. 
I have never felt so low in my entire life. For once, I felt that there was no certainty in anything anymore. What had happened seemed so far out of my range of expectation, it would have been more likely if a plane had fallen on me on my way to work. I had everything going for me, and in an, and in an instant, everything was taken away. After the initial shock passed, I had plenty of time to reflect on this calamity. I learned more about myself and about life in these couple months than I had learned in 18 years of living. When you are blessed with a sense of absolute detachment from the fetters of culture, you are able to discern God's presence in your life. I was so blinded by my own selfish thoughts, I usurped credit for God's graceful contributions to my life. I realized that this disaster was not to tear me, tear down my being, but instead to humble me. I realized that no matter what plans I make, because my scope on this world is so minuscule, and I cannot account for all the things that tend to happen, there is no way that I could con gain control of any situation. Most importantly, I realized that I needed to reconcile my relationship with the Lord and to place my trust in Him. I asked for forgiveness of my sins, rededicated and surrendered, surrendered completely to Him. I no longer expected a successful future. I just expected a loving God will take care of me. I sincerely pray for his will, not mine, to be done in my life. I was able to finish off high school, and slowly things started to turn better, one by one. My problems with the law began to slowly resolve, and UCSD miraculously allowed me to attend their school under a special admissions. I knew there was a higher power working in my life. When I got into school, I had problems with the dorming contract. I had no place to live, but I remained faithful that God will provide a way for me. I stayed with my cousin for the first week, and during the second week of school, a space opened up, and I was able to move into the dormitories, even though it didn't seem likely that I would get a space until winter quarter. God looked out for me in the ways that I couldn't. I finally understood what it meant to have faith in God. It wasn't just acknowledging his existence. It required ridding any doubts of God's love and omnipotence. I've never felt so void of stress since early childhood, even though I'm wandering into the uncharted waters of life without a shred of provisions. I know it sounds insane, but is it more sensible to worry about things only God has control over? I now live day by day allowing God to open and close doors for me. I no longer get too angry over missed opportunities, no matter how small or large, because God closes them for reasons that you cannot fathom. Just understand that he acts upon love, purer than your mothers or fathers. I'm thankful for these new insights, and even more so for God's love and gracious assistance and hope that you can truly comprehend this wisdom on a personal level and know that the Lord will take care of you through life the best route possible. I thank you for listening, and God bless.